Greetings Traveller, I'm Chris and welcome back to my World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King classic series, playing as a Blood Elf Paladin. Today we dungeon dive into Shadowfan Keep, honing our skills as a Paladin tank while soaking up the lore and story of the area. Whether you're playing along, relaxing, watching at school or work, I hope you enjoy this relaxed questing playthrough. So we take off where we uh, finished last time, we do have an addition to the party and that is our mighty pet, our uh, Undercity Cockroach. Uh, I think we'll just jump in into Dungeon Finder and see if we can get a group for uh, Shadow Fun Keep as it's showing green now. Uh, we'll list as tank or, or DPS and see what we get, hopefully we can find a nice group but it is a, a, pick, a pick up group so we'll, uh, we'll just see what comes and uh, make the best of it I think. I'd like to thank you for watching this series, I've been really enjoying it, playing as a, a Paladin and also a Blood Elf Paladin during the Wrath of the Lich King era. Um, whilst that's going on, what we can do is we can venture over to Tarry Mill to pick up the quests there. Maybe a little bit too late to uh, cap capture a group, but we'll see. All of these are, yeah, they're all great, so they're not really the most useful for us. And we do have a nice dungeon quest, Aragul Must Die, which we get rewarded a ring if we complete it. We can head uh, south and then along to Hillsbrad. It's got uh, a nice hub of quests for us. Uh, we can also go over to uh, uh, the Barons and Orgrimmar as well, uh, to see if there's any good quests there if it's a little bit dried up here. Uh, we do actually have quite a nice weapon for tanking as well. We've got the Thieves Blade, which we got from the Dead Mines, um, which is a 14.4 um, damage sword with 7 agility. Agility is not our main stat, but it does give us a bit of crit and a little bit of avoidance, which is uh, quite nice as a, as a tank. lower level than uh, we need. I don't mind doing a few great quests if it's uh, if it's very lore centric and it's got some juicy storylines but uh, level 12 at 24 is just a bit too low for our liking. We can, I think we have to continue heading down. It may not be our night for um, getting into Shadowfang. We've got people, just no healers, so possibly we could do another one. I was hoping we could do Shadowfang because it's quite in keeping with the area. It's like a nice little progression in terms of the story. sword skill so that's quite a nice opportunity.
I mean, we could have potentially listed as a healer, but I, uh, as it always happens, as soon as I get rid of my healer gear, because I think we're not going to need it, um, I don't really have anything. I've got a chest and a, got a chest and a, uh, a pair of boots, but that's really it. Not too bad that we're not expecting it, but um, I think it's just going to be a bit rough if we haven't even got like a full set of gear with intellect on it. What now? Deathstalker Lesh, time to strike. Be silent and pay attention, Paladin. I'm sent to this position in order to survey the town of Hillsbrad. My mission is one of reconnaissance. It is imperative that you send word to High Executioner Darthalia in Tarin Mill at once. Let her know that I, Deathstalker Lesh, send the following message. A message we will do after we've tanked. If we get it, we'll carry on. The raven's cry from the west doth beckon. The raven's cry from the west doth beckon. Follow the road to the east and pay close attention to the signs. Okay, we'll carry that up later and we'll just grab this. Uh... Oh, Walker Priest. We can share ours. Priest, get them. What kind of healing we got? We've got priest healing. Characters that pull. Um, they want to do that, that's absolutely their choice. Spell uh, any effects I get to save the healer's mana. Seems like it here. Quite nice. 
Yeah, the spell says I don't have enough mana. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Stalkers and Shadowfang. kind of an inbred attitude now with, uh, with retail players so when they take it into classic um, they just do it normally. music, very kind of tense. That's quite nice. Nice stamina, but probably a good warlock outfit actually. Blood tap quite uh, quite a lot on that. Intel gear so far. I think there is a nice shield that uh, drops from here. Will be good to get. In fact, what I think we'll do is I'll put uh, less of wisdom on because I'm running out of mana really quickly. ring there, it's kind of unfortunate we didn't get it.
that's uh, it's really nice. Put your name in and uh, priest. Has anyone needed it? I'll go for that then. That's extremely nice. Silence, so I can't cast. Silence is really hurt because the healer will be cast there with it as well. cannot cast spells. got a rogue in the party so we can't pick that chest. Here we got a skill reduction. It's going to be interesting. And I think this bit is actually possibly a bit of a tricky one so I'll need to put them back. Oh. That's right. Not the wall one can.
And you've got the uh, Seamus totem, which is quite nice. I go quick into the group, I just think it's a bit of a shame because uh, for one, it's a nice launch, but two, it's possibly not too fair in the if they're having trouble, you don't know what, um, what their proficiency is. I mean, I'm having a bit of trouble doing the quest while I'm uh, while I'm tanking, to be honest. But if we miss it, we miss it. I'll get here. If you're a caster, it's Christmas Day for you. It could be a nice tanking. In fact, I won't. It's not absolutely critical. Aragol, another cloth item still. Be good run. I don't think there's going to be any such thing as a perfect Pokemon in this game. Um, and it's a bunch of people who not only have never met, but are possibly in different countries and completely possibly speak different languages, so the fact that we can actually come together and do this, 
um, it's pretty good. Um, we did get Aragorn Stein, but we didn't get the Book of Ur. I think I might just go back to see if I can find that. It's not the biggest thing if we missed it. This is an incredible piece of loot. Uh, it's great. Still. Yeah, a pretty nice one, pretty enjoyable. Not too long as well, I think we've barely touched the uh, the 30 minute mark for it. But we did have a good healer there. Uh, priest healing, really nice. Um, not just renew as well, they actually knew to actually use the proper healing spells rather than just rely on renews and shields. And also dispel. Um, if, they, if we didn't have a dispelling healer then, um, I think it would have been extremely unpleasant that run as the, uh, the dots would have whittled away all of our health and the healer's mana. So, you'll probably tell me in the comments that I am completely missing this book here, and it's actually just right in front of me. Uh, if it is, please do let me know. Ah, it is shining away. Book of Ur. Okay, so what does the quest say for I would like to check that. Bring the Book of Ur to keep a Belle de Gur at the Apothecary in the City. Shadowfin Keep holds a book, the Book of Yur, which would be much prized in my collection. Yur was a great mage of Dalaran before the coming of the Scourge. His studies in other worlds are of much value to certain parties among the Forsaken. Enter Shadowfin Keep and find the book. Bring it to me. I will report your service to our Dark Lady. The book. The land of Azeroth is host to no end of wonders. Flora, fauna, creatures and magic will team across its surface. Indeed, the curious will find limitless variety in this world. One merely has to look. But if one looks deeply enough, then windows to entire new worlds are found. And each world is home to its own wonders. Just as each home is to its own horrors. This is the purpose of my book. The capital of those beings, those otherworldly fiends who would destroy our lands, so that explorers who happen upon them will know what they face. So, if you consider yourself a guardian of Azeroth, then read on and know your enemy. Your Mage of Dalaran. Wow, this is quite a big book. I'll just read a few bits. A um, few more bits. The fiend of which I write is the Worgen, old rural folklore may hearken to these creatures for what farmer's child has not heard tales of beastly wolf men stalking the woods and marshes outside this village. A truth may hide in such tales, perhaps they are warnings against the worker, veiled as mists to frighten us. But before such tales are dismissed, let me know, let me now assure the reader the worker are real. They might not be from our world, but if avenues exist between their home and ours, and powerful magics can pull them here. Such chants are best left unuttered, for wherever Wurgen tread, they bring terror and bloodshed with them. You will know Wurgen by its resemblance to the wolves of our world. Viewing a Wurgen, one can easily see how its coarse hair, pointed ears, and long snout are akin to the wolves we know. But you will just as quickly see its differences. That coarse hair surroundings a powerful, two legged body sporting long fangs and dagger like claws. Behind its howls works in malevolence possessed by no natural beast. Bergen's home is a dark place, a place of nightmare. If that world fosters locales safe from the cursed Bergen, then my research has revealed no such bastions. And if one considers the ferocity and wickedness of the Bergen, then it is likely no such bastions exist. It is surmised that the Bergen are content to remain in that world. For although some Worgen possess powerful magic, they have made no attempts to reach Azeroth on their own accord. And for this, we are fortunate. We won't tell this person about that at this point. As mentioned above, some Worgen are skilled in mystic arts and their magic is of darkness and corruption. Curses and supernatural poisons are common, so be forewarned. Those who face Worgen magicians should arm themselves with wards against shadow. It is my hope that no Dalaran wizard seeks out the Worgen, even if done in light conscience. For no pact may be struck, no secrets may be learned, no good can come from these beasts. They are best left to their world. For 
If found in ours and not destroyed, then our peril will be dire. Wow, that's really interesting and a good bit of lore, especially considering the actual dungeon that we've just completed. Um, I think we've kind of completed this area now, so we can uh, head back and complete, uh, well, head back to Tara Mill at least. Really fun instance. I think we just need to pick up Death Stalk Lash's quest as uh, we rudely just interrupted her. Travel to Tara Mill and deliver Death Stalk Lash's message to High Executor Darth Dahlia. We're kind of near there, so we'll head over to Tara Mill now and we can rest up before our next travels and adventures in this land. We can actually find our dungeon quests in at uh, the city. Yeah, we can. We've got two dungeon quests to hand in. We can actually fly there next time, which is uh, really helpful for us. 25s, wow, they're actually kind of at our level as well. That's good. It was a good dungeon. I enjoyed it. A bit, uh, a bit too much shadow magic and uh, quite a lot of silences. And as a, a spellcaster tank, it does, uh, it does hurt our ability to use our skills. But still, it's fun. I think potentially as we start leveling as well, um, the dungeons will get harder, the boss is more difficult, and they'll essentially just hit harder. So DPS will be less inclined to start pulling. Um, we did have a cheeky warlock that did it there, but honestly, it isn't my job to pair in the dungeon. I'm not, I'm not their boss. I'm a player of five people, just like everyone else. So I'll ask them not to do it, and uh, and that's it. I don't really want to start getting into a toxic group and kicking people and that kind of drama. I really just want to enjoy the dungeon and get through it. Uh, but I think, as I say, as the bosses hit for a lot harder now as we level, uh, that kind of behaviour will just get checked. next we've done uh shadow fang i'm not particularly keen on repeating stuff i mean it's good for farming xp but i'd like to do stuff in keeping with our level uh, possibly stormwind stockade or razor fang crawl uh, or possibly back black fathom keeps that's quite a nice one it's quite a long dungeon as well so it could be a good bit of fun to uh explore i think what we'll do is we'll catch up with the quest here at a later stage we'll just kind of rest up for now um, rest our weary head. Not exactly the uh, abode we're, we're used to compared to Silver Moon City. We've got some captured farmers where the guest quarters should be. So I think we'll just find a pew somewhere to rest if we can. I don't think this is going to get a good rating. We rest up here with our mighty pet um, and um, get ready for more adventures next time. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Uh, really enjoyed dungeoning. It's a bit of a different experience from questing and hopefully we'll get more done soon. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time.